Hello and welcome to Integration Testing with Express and SuperTest. By the end of this video, you should be able to install and configure, configure Mocha and Chai with SuperTest in order to make integration tests in your app. You should be able to write tests for both GET and POST routes, and you should be able to write expectations for both routes that render and routes that redirect. Before we dig into the code, there are a couple types of tests, different levels of testing. We have end-to-end -end or acceptance tests, and these test the complete stack of your application. We have integration tests, and that's really anything that tests more than one thing at a time. And then you have unit tests, and these could test uh, you know, just single objects or single functions. I'm going to call what we're doing integration testing right now. Uh, only because we're not actually firing up a browser and, and truly running the entire full stack. Um, however, there's some debate about you know, the language and what exactly an end-to-end -end or acceptance test is and what an integration test is, whether there's any difference. Over here, I have an app generated by the default Express Generator. And if I start that in Nodeman, and I come over, you'll see that it's just a basic Express app. So no customization yet. So the first thing I have to do is make sure that I have the testing libraries installed. In this case, I'm going to npm install and make sure that I'm saving uh, these packages to my package.json's development dependencies. And I'm going to install Mocha and Chai and SuperTest. Once those have been installed, I need to create a test directory and I need to create my first test. So here I think I'm going to call this my home page test. So if I come over here, you'll see that uh, I have an empty file. And the first thing I need to do is require super test. And I'm going to name that request. It's a nice variable name. I also need to require my app. And this is uh, the default app.js generated by Express. Now I'm ready to write a test so I can describe my home page. I can say it welcomes the user. Because the requests that are being made are asynchronous, I need to include the done parameter in the function. And here I'm ready to make a request to my app, which is a get to the home page. And I can expect that the response is going to be a 200. And I can also expect that it can say, um, hello, fine user. And after it checks that the web page contains the text hello fine user then I'm done so I can just pass the done callback directly into super tests expect when I run the tests I see that the body that I got didn't have the text hello fine user and this is pretty key take a look at what just happened it actually made a it, it fired up a server on some port and then it made a get request to the server it took the HTTP response back it parsed it and now it's telling me that the body of the HTTP response does not contain the text that I was expecting so now I can go into my routes and I can say hello fine user and I can rerun the tests now the test is passed, if I were to go to my browser and refresh, I would see hello fine user because SuperTest is actually seeing the same web page that I'm seeing. It turns out that it's not seeing literally the exact one running on port 3000, it's actually seeing a different run one running on a different port, but because it's the same app, we'll see the same results. So this is a, a very simple request. We're making a get request and we're checking the um, we're checking the response. Let's say now that I want to have a 
some functionality in my app where users can fill out a contact form. And so um, it thanks the user after they fill out the contact form. So here, instead of get, I'm going to send a post. And before I do my expectations, I'm also going to send some data. So in this case, I'm going to send name is Jeff. And this will send the data as if I filled out a form and hit submit. So it'll be available to me in rec.body. Here, instead of expecting a 200 response, I know that a redirect is actually a 302 status code. And I also know that there's going to be some value in the location header. And in this case, I want the app to redirect to a thank you page. So I'm going to expect that the location header contains the path where I'd like to be redirected. Note that SuperTest doesn't, by default, follow the redirect. So I can't just expect uh, to see some text on the page. So here I can run the tests. And I can see uh, 302, but instead I got a 404. And that's because I haven't defined the route yet. So if I go up to my index file, I can make sure that I'm setting up a post to contact correctly. And here I can redirect to the thank you path. When I run it, I'm green. So uh, we haven't really done anything with the post data yet, but just to prove the point, if I were to console.log rec.body.name, you could see that it comes out here. So the post data has been filled out properly. But that seems kind of weak to me. Uh, in fact, here, I don't even know that the post data was, you know, created correctly or, or captured correctly. And knowing that I've um, redirected to a location is kind of helpful. Um, and in some cases, I might want to actually follow that redirect all the way through from the posted data and see what I got. Uh, this is one of those cases, mostly just for uh, demonstration purposes. So here, uh, I can pass in a function. And then I can make another request to the app. And here I could, uh, for example, go through to the thank you page and see what I see. So I want to get thank you. And here I'm going to expect that it's going to be a 200. I'm also going to expect that it has the text thank you. And then we'll be done. So here I have two nested requests. I make a post request and then I make a get request. When I run the test, I expected the thank you page to work, but instead I got a 404 because I don't have that route. So now when I add thank you, I can do something simple like render thank you. And here I see that slash thank you doesn't work. And my tests caught an error that I made when I just blatantly copied and pasted because instead of changing this to get, I had post. So without having to go back to my browser and refresh and debug, I got a uh, very, very fast feedback from my test. So in this simple example, you can see how to make get requests and expect the text to be in the result. You can also see how to make post requests and send data. And you can see how you would test for a redirect and optionally even effectively follow the redirect or at least make a subsequent request to see what will show up on that page. And that was a brief overview of integration testing with Express and SuperTest.